Hey guys, it's Darwin. So it is 2018 and for me, that means it's PCT time. If you remember last year, I started a series of videos called Gear for the PCT where I was gonna break down the different categories of gear that I'll be carrying for my through hike. Well, it's time to start that series back up and today we're talking about my electronics and what's in my ditty bag. All right, so if you're new to this series, this year on April 3rd, I will be starting my through hike of the Pacific Crest Trail. Hiking from Mexico to Canada, and I'm gonna to try to do it between four and five months. I decided instead of doing the typical gear layout video where I just kind of have a scan over and show you all of my gear, that I would break down all of the different categories of gear into different videos. If you wanna check out the other videos that I've done, for my gear on the PCT, I'll put a link to my big three and my clothes setup in the description box below. All right, so first up, let's talk about the electronics that I'll be carrying this year when I start my through hike. Now, my electronics are probably gonna be a little bit different from most people because obviously I film when I'm out on the trail, so I do carry a little bit of heavier camera gear to make sure that I can make some really good hiking videos. So first up is the camera that I'll be carrying starting in April, and that is the Canon G7X Mark II. I picked this guy up last year because I really wanted to step up my filming game on the trail. I had been using a GoPro for a while, but I liked this because it could get down to a really low aperture and get that nice cinematic look from video on the trail. It can shoot time lapse, it can shoot slow motion, it has a flip out screen, so when I'm on the trail and I'm filming, I can be looking at myself. It has a really nice zoom in and out lens. You can charge it right in the camera so I don't have to carry an extra battery charger. And the weight on this bad boy comes in at 11.2 ounces. Now, 11.2 ounces is a little bit heavier than some of the other point and shoot cameras on the market, but I don't know, I just have a really big love for Canon and I really dig this camera. Next up is not necessarily an electronic, but it is an electronic accessory and it's something that I kicked around for a while because I couldn't really decide on which one I wanted and that is my tripod. So the tripod that I'm gonna be bringing is the Joby Action Gorillapod. Uh, so it's a little bit bigger than my typical Gorillapod, which is pretty small, but the reason I'm gonna be bringing this one is for a handful of different reasons. One, it does have a level built onto it, so when I'm setting it up, I can get a nice level shot. It is much bigger, so I can place it in some better areas. I can grip onto things because the legs do bend, so going around a branch or maybe a, a trail marker post or something like that. And the third thing is because it does have longer feet, I can actually hold it out and get a little bit better of like a selfie shot when I'm on the trail. With my small Joby Gorillapod, I couldn't really do that because it was too small. So I did upgrade to this and it is heavier, coming in at 6.9 ounces. But to me, the weight is worth being able to get a better shot and it just being, you know, more reliable as a tripod and just a little sturdier. Now along with the battery and the memory card that's already in my Canon G7X, I will be carrying an extra battery that weighs in at just a mere 0.7 ounces and an extra memory card that I think weighs like 0.1 ounces. So not much weight, so I can get some extra battery life, get more shots per day, and obviously to be able to store more video and photo files. Next up is my bag o cords. So in here, I have a small charging block that has a two USB slot, so I can charge two things at one time. I have a set of headphones, a charging cable that I can charge my camera with, my headlamp with, and my external battery. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty much just to keep all of my cables and all of my stuff all together. And the whole bag with all the cords and the headphones in there weighs in at 2.7 ounces. So next up is my battery charger so I can charge all of my electronics when I'm out on the trail. And that is an Anchor 10,000 milliamp charger. Now, I had kind of been kicking back and forth with a few different chargers. For a while, I was gonna be using the Blitz Wolf charger but really, after looking at them and just kind of playing with some different ones, this is the lightest charger with the most power that you can find on the market. For 10,000 milliamps, this thing only weighs in at 6.3 ounces. So it definitely took the place of the other battery charger that I thought I was gonna be taking. It's a better choice for me. 
Next up is the headlamp that I'll be carrying for my through hack of the PCT, and that is the Yuko Air 150 rechargeable headlamp. Now, I recently did a full review of this guy and did a modification to make it a little bit lighter, but it is 150 lumens, it does have a red light, it's rechargeable, and it only weighs one ounce. Now, right now, I'm still kind of back and forth and on the fence whether I wanna carry this or I wanna carry my small mini E105 flashlight, but I'm about 90% sure that this guy is gonna be coming with me on the PCT. I got a couple more months to put it to the test and make sure that I really wanna carry it, but I am really digging this light. All right, last but not least is my phone. I'm gonna be carrying the iPhone 7 Plus. Um, I did have the 6 for a while and that was my go-to trail phone but I felt like I needed a little bit more storage. I like the fact that the 7 is waterproof and dustproof because it is sealed on the inside. And not only will I be using it as my phone, but I'm also gonna have my gut hooks guide on here and all of my music to listen to while on the trail. So this is definitely a multimedia piece of gear for me and it's taken place of a handful of other pieces of gear that I used to have because I used to carry a phone, I used to carry a guidebook, and I would also carry a little iPod, so this takes place of all of them. Now the iPhone 7 Plus only weighs in at 6.7 ounces, so not too shabby for my electronics setup. So that takes care of my electronics for the trail. As of now, I don't think that I'll be adding anything else to that list, and I've been pretty happy with it. Next up, let's talk about what's inside my ditty bag. So if some of you don't know what a ditty bag is, it's essentially a bag that you put all your ditties in. Um, because I carry a pack that doesn't have a top brain, I don't have that extra pouch to throw things like my headlamp, like my first aid kit, my toothbrush. So having something like a waterproof ditty bag that I can put on the outside of my pack that I can grab whenever I want to is really good for me to have because I can just kind of keep everything in one location. So the ditty bag that I use is the z Packs. Cuban fiber or Dyneema composite small dry bag. Now it is a complete dry bag, so it does keep water out and it has a roll top closure with a little Velcro lip. So I can stuff everything I need in there, I can throw it on the outside of my pack and I don't have to worry about that stuff getting wet. Now the bag itself is a 2.2 liter and it weighs a mere 0.6 ounces. Out of all the different ditty bags that I've tried and have, this is my favorite one that I've owned. All right, so what is inside my ditty bag? Well, first off is my toilet paper and my trowel. So my toilet paper is just, well, it's a roll of toilet paper in a Ziploc bag. But the trowel that I use is the Deuce of Spades by Tent Lab. This guy only weighs in at 0.6 ounces. And you guys might remember that I made a video where I've become a big advocate for the trowel on the trail to help promote good leave no trace principles and just to dig a better crap hole. Next up in my ditty bag is my first aid kit. So I've done a breakdown of my first aid kit a few times and it's pretty basic. Really all that I have in here is a little pouch of ibuprofen and Tylenol just in case I need it. I have a small sewing kit that has some needles and some dental floss in case I need to do a repair on my pack. I have some extra Cuban fiber tape in case I get a rip in my tent or my pack or any of my other Cuban fiber gear. I can patch that up while I'm on the trail. I keep a pair of small nail clippers in there because I like to keep my toenails trimmed so I'm not getting any black toenails or any infections in my feet. I like to make sure that I really take care of my feet when I'm on the trail. A few alcohol swipes, and that's really it. I don't really carry much in the world of first aid. This has always done me out on the trail, whether it be the Appalachian Trail, section hikes that I've done on the Continental Divide or the Arizona Trail. Uh, a simple first aid kit like this has always done me just fine. Now, as far as band-aids or bandages or anything like that, I do not carry that in my first aid kit, but what I do carry in my ditty bag is a ink pen and on that ink pen I roll up a bunch of Luco tape. So I have Luco tape on here and if I need some sort of a bandage or a band-aid for a cut or a bruise or something, I just take this off, I cut it, I take a little square of toilet paper and I make my own band-aid out of my Luco tape. And if you guys don't know about Luco tape, 
It is also amazing for blisters or anything like that on the trail because once you put it on, it stays on. Whether it's wet, whether it's sweaty, dirty, it stays in place. So my whole first aid kit, including those nail clippers and the pin with the Luco tape comes in right at 1.7 ounces for my entire first aid um, and the pin. So pretty lightweight, pretty minimal, but it's always worked pretty good for me. Next up in my ditty bag is my knife. I carry the Spyderco Ladybug Salt Knife, which is a little bitty guy. It's really sharp, it's done me really well, and it's just enough to cut string, cheese, maybe do a little bit of altering in my gear. Um, this has been a perfect knife for me on the trail. It's really minimal, it doesn't take up a lot of space, and it only weighs half an ounce coming in at 0.5. So definitely a good knife that's in my ditty bag. And then the last two items that are in my ditty bag are gonna be my mini toothbrush um, that I can kind of build like that, and a little thing of travel toothpaste. Now, I never weigh these, so I don't really know what they weigh, but they don't weigh much. Those are in there. And then last but not least is a Bic mini lighter. Whether I'm going stoveless or carrying a stove, I always make sure I have some way to start a fire to create warmth just in case I'm in a situation so a Bic Mini is always in my ditty bag. All right, so everything inside of my ditty bag with the bag, aside from my tripod, my phone, and my camera, weighs in at 15.6 ounces. So right under a pound for everything that I need in case of an emergency, to be able to cook, uh, to charge up my electronics, my cords, everything in there is right under a pound. This is a great ditty bag setup for me for the PCT. All right guys, so hopefully that will help you kind of see what I'm carrying in case you're putting your own ditty bag and electronics setup together. Within the next coming weeks, I have a few more of these gear for the PCT videos coming at you where we're gonna talk about my cook system. I actually have a Close 2.0 because I have switched out some of my clothes since I made that last video, and a video on the gear that I'll just kind of be switching out, like my ice axe, my bear canister, and my desert gear that I'll be dropping off at Kennedy Meadows. So what are you guys currently carrying in your ditty bag? What electronic setup are you gonna carry on the trail? Leave me something in the comment box below and let me know your thoughts. If you haven't had a chance yet, go over and check me out on Instagram. I've been posting a lot of new photos lately of some of the things that Snuggles and I have going on throughout the week, plus some pictures from some past hikes. If you found any value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always guys, thanks for watching.